Hey everyone, it is Gabe from Frame and we have an extraordinarily epic update. So let's get into it. I'm just going to cherry pick a couple of the things in this update. First off, let's celebrate. <laughs> let's do a little dance. So we've got a couple avatar uh, emotes, like little animations, and you'll see them in the emoji menu. We might move this soon, but here's where you can see them for now. We've got um, wave, clap, dance, and raise hand. Now you can access them in this menu or the, uh, the hotkeys for them are one, two, three, and four. If you just hold down four, you'll just dance. Hold down three, you'll do a nice polite clap. Two will wave and one will get your hand up if you have a question. So that's pretty cool. Now uh, let's get into presenter preview. So this is a super cool feature, uh, popular request. Um, right now, when you're kind of giving a presentation, but you're presenting something, it's sort of hard to look at your audience and see what you're presenting at the same time. But now if you've got a PDF or a screen share on the wall, you can actually get a little preview of it. Click the little preview button and you'll have this preview. So now I can look out you know, at the audience and see the preview of the PDF. And I can also control the PDF, move through the pages right here. This also works with the screen share. You'll get a little preview of the screen share here. And then uh, when you're done, you can just close out. But yeah, this will you know control the slides for everyone. Okay, lovely. So I'm gonna close this out. That's presenter preview. Now, another really cool thing, take a look at that image in the distance of that mountain. I'm gonna run around here for a little bit, try to get far away. And I'm gonna try to get even farther away. Hang on a second, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I turned off uh, edit mode. Now I'm gonna walk towards the image. Da, 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 and it came into view. So this is a new optimization that you can use optionally if you'd like. For those frames where you just have tons of assets, um, in particular images right now, uh, they kind of always render, sort of, unless you've um, you know done some other tricks. And this way you can put a simple little um, kind of like, it's almost like distance culling on them so that if the user is far away, then it will disappear. And you can set the distance that you want it to do that. So this could be a really good trick for those of you who have frames with lots of images and you wanna keep uh, performance pretty good. Okay, there's more though, uh, a really cool thing. So you might know our little simple drag and drop environment builder if you don't. Now you do, tiles.framevr.io. It's a very cool tool. And uh, we're kind of always improving it behind the scenes because we have some big plans for it. But there's a new thing you can do here. And I've already made a little um, map. I'll add a couple things to it now that uh, so you can see it in action. Just bringing over a little floor. I'm gonna bring over some uh, seating over here. Let's go ahead and rotate that so it's facing inwards. And um, let's bring in a little, uh, some fence as well. And let's rotate that. So when you make a map in here, and I, I hope that you do uh, try this out um, and give us your feedback. When you make a map now, you can actually save it to your inventory. And this is a whole other kind of broad uh, feature is that you can save environment models to your inventory, which is pretty cool. So if you've got a handful of environments that you're always putting in your different frames, now you can save them to your inventory so that you don't always need to juggle those files. But you can also save environments from our tile map creator right to your frame inventory. So I've saved this one, it's called demo map two. Now I can go back to frame and when I go to the environment picker, you will see your inventory environments right here. And here's the map that I made in the uh, tile map editor. So I'm gonna select it. And here we are inside that map, which is the exact same map that I made in here. And I think that is just incredibly cool and powerful. And this pipeline of just this like kind of drag and drop environment creator right into a multi-user collaborative space, I think is a really cool combo. And you're gonna see some sweet stuff here coming up. Okay, uh, also of note uh, in the Emoji menu, I mentioned the emotes, but there's also a new effects. And here in effects, these are like little short-term um, fun effects that you can fire off that will clean themselves up. You know, a lot of people like these particle effects because they're fun, they're kind of celebratory, but the problem is if you leave them in there, they can be bad for performance and you kind of forget to clean them up. But these are just a couple really handy ones. If you're in a meeting, you want to fire off, uh, you know, 
kind of a celebratory effect, you can do that now. And these will just clean themselves up. Super cool. Now also really just generally handy is in the people menu, if you are an admin, uh, you can click on people in the people menu and you have this new kind of like moderator toolkit. This is where you can uh, pass the mic if you wanna temporarily give someone permission to speak. You can boot them, you can fetch them, uh, or you can clear their support ticket if you're using our kind of support ticket queue system. So pretty cool uh, new menu here that just makes a lot of things a little bit easier. Okay, now of course, if you wanna like bring everyone to you, you've got these global actions tucked in this new menu up here, which we think is a little bit more elegant. Okay, um, <clears throat> final thing for you to explore. I know it's like already five minutes. I hope it's been packed with good stuff, but in the settings menu, you'll see a new button here, this little hand wave. And if you turn that on, what it'll do is activate your webcam with motion detection. And when you do a thumbs up to your camera, it will launch emojis, celebratory emojis. It's just a proof of concept because what you're gonna see next month is using that, but instead to uh, actually map the facial expression from your webcam to your avatar. No lies. Okay, um, there's a lot more in this release, but we're already six minutes in, so I'm gonna call it. I hope you check it out, and there's a lot more cool stuff coming soon. Good luck.